co-founder of Howie Nature's Touch and we manufacture skincare products, 100% sheer based products. We said the business is 2017, out of need and passion. Now, my co-founder Caroline Gugi had acne, bad, bad acne, she'd taken steroids and nothing was working for her. I, on the other hand, uh, am your gully girl. I, um, I love the Victoria's Secret, bath and body work, but I went vegan and plant based So I wanted to switch to skincare products that were safe and I had a tagline, if I can't eat it, I don't want it on my skin, when I started, because I mean, I'm, I'm not a born up manufacturer. So, but sheer butter doesn't smell nice. So I said, if I go into skincare products, I want a range that smells nice. Monday if I feel fruity, Tuesday if I feel fresh to have everything that we need. So together, Karen and I came together to form Howie Nature's Touch where there's everything for every woman. Oh. Our products are based on functionality in as much as we have a variety of scents. So we have um, things to do with acne, things to do with um, even skin tone, hyperpigmentation. So we focus on functionality to ensure that in as much as we're giving you an amazing experience as you um, or you yourself, you're also able to treat the many skin issues you might tend to have. COVID came to us by surprise. We were literally in the year where we're like, this is when we're gonna hit the ground running. Um, however, what happened to us is we, we used to be 70% um, distributorship and 30% um, online. So when COVID came, we switched that up. We had to go digital and we had to move very fast. And we actually grew more in COVID than we did the previous year because our digital marketing, we intensified that market and customers were willing to be able to purchase our products online, even with the delivery costs. The greatest challenge we face our small businesses and finances interest rates. Most of us, we don't need 10 million to move. We literally just need 100,000 to get our cash flow running, to buy raw materials, to enable you to buy um, your next packaging materials. So I say interest rates are very um, high and also the the bureaucracy needed. You know, most small businesses don't have amazing big business plans. We have an idea, we hit the ground running. And when you look at the requirements needed in most banks or accessing financing, they ask for very many things needed in order for you to access finance. Imputation will always be a big issue because there are not many quality um, I would say packaging, but I would use packaging because that's one of our biggest issue, packaging materials in Kenya. In 2018, we had to close the business for six months because the glass jar from the supplier that gives us was no longer available in Kenya. And we, we literally had to send samples to the US who were seeking, because we can't pack in glass because we use essential oils and not fragrance. So our products to maintain the integrity of the natural ingredients we use, we must pack in glass for now because the plastics available in Kenya are not as quality as we would want. So for six months, we literally have to shop around to get um, a new a new packaging. And after six months, by God's grace, we were able to get a manufacturer in South Africa. We started shipping in the products by ourselves through road, um, by bus, getting clearance, getting them here. And right now, I must say that the company in Kenya because we put up a business case, now bring the glasses for us specifically because of that. I think just tariffs, taxes. As I said, it's very difficult to, to bring in products when you're bringing them from Kenya if you have high taxations. Because if I bring in the product, I'm packaging shea butter. If my pricing is not competitive, nobody will buy me shea butter, especially depending on who your target market is. So I'd say taxes and clearance and reports, those delays can literally make a business go from starting to finishing in less than five years. And that's why most businesses either remain Instagram businesses because scaling up becomes very difficult when your overheads are very high. I'd say don't look at your expertise. I'll use my example. I'm a HR practitioner by profession. That is what I studied. Um, my business partner did project management. So we are not manufacturers, we are not formulators. But we got into this because we had need and passion for it. And we have learned formulation on the go. 
I mean, we are kept certified. So I'd say, don't limit yourself to think that you must know something 100% in order for you to begin it. Um, in lieu we say chaka chaka, just start. Literally just, you have an idea, push for it, reiterate as you continue. Whatever needs to be added, add. Whatever needs to be removed, removed. Don't be bogged down by having to write big business plans. Write down your idea, have systems and structures, and measure your growth. Thank you.